and subscribe. Shout out to my underdog immortals. It's definitely the god. Triple ones. Owns. Oh, 13. So I'm going to get straight to it. You know, a lot of us have been through a lot of different things, a lot of different struggles, a lot of different pains, a lot of different losses, you know. But you ever heard that saying, if you don't have haters in your life, you must not be doing something right. You know, I've started using a method to keep me more sane through the oppression, through the de depression, you know, through the monitoring, etc. You know, I use my haters, my doubters, demons, etc. as a footstool, you know what I'm saying? I look at it, they are here to bring the best out of you, to bring your best abilities out. Because guess what? When you get too comfortable and if things start going your way a lot and you're just getting this and, and achieving everything, everything come in the right time, divine timing. But just like the saying, you don't work, you don't eat. That's just the same thing in the spiritual realm, in the physical realm. If you don't put the work in, you got to go through the pain. You got to go through the agony. You got to go through the frustration. You got to go through the irritation. You got to go through the taunting. You got to go through the haunting. You know, you got to go through, you know, everything you do. And these people are placed in front of you to appear to be against you. But what if they was here the whole time actually working with you to assist you to become better, to work harder, to remain humble even as a high deity that you are? See, I think one of the big mistakes in the past of certain entities high ranking, etc. You know, certain people get too big headed. See, I've humbled myself, but I do, do know when to bring the war energy out, when to be confident, when to know who I am, when to know that I'm gonna complete all my goals, you know? But it's a time to hold the door. It's a time to not be so loud. It's a time to shake a hand, to agree to disagree, you know? It's a time to let a person think they know everything. You don't got to argue and debate with a person. See, your haters been placed here for a reason. And if you didn't think life was a test, you better take another guess before you have to turn around and take the test again if you fail. Because as much as this could be uh, paradise, it could be hell. You know, I let my haters empower me, you know, I feel off. I used to get more angry, frustrated. You know, I wanted to pull the rest of my hair out of my receding hair anyways. And I ain't hot and I'll take this whole thing off. Y'all seen it. I'm not here to impress you. I'm not here to entertain you. You know, I'm here to let you know. All these things that you've been going through, you know, again, regardless of your appearance, there are certain people, regardless of how they look, have been through a lot of things, too. So this ain't just all for one group. But again, I know for a fact that there are uh, certain individuals, I'll just put it in that way, that's, you know, targeted, you know, 10 times worse than others. What's understood don't have to be explained. It's not even just hidden. It's plain sight. You can see it in plain daylight. You know, I was I was just 
uh, kind of bitching and like, dang, I get, I get sick of this. Every time I'm trying to uh, work hard to do something, I'm trying to be humble. I'm nice. I'm shaking people's hands. And somehow I'm just, I feel like people just still spitting in my face. I still I'm doing all this work. And I'm not re reaping no benefits. And then it just dawned on me like, these are part of the benefits. And I'm like, I'm saying to myself like, wait, they say you're crazy when you start talking to yourself. And this is part of the benefits. How does this benefit me? Struggling sometimes, fi trying to figure out how I'm going to do this and do that. But somehow I always seem to manage. But I think... I have to, and you have to, and anybody that's going through certain things have to really go into deep meditation. Just ask the universe to guide you and know that you're going to be successful in whatever you do. Just don't sell your soul. Because once you sell your soul, then your enemy is no longer... Here to assist you. And for, what's understood don't have to be explained. But when you sign your soul away, then in due time the reaper come to collect. So now I've just been looking at a lot of different things. A, a, a haters and evil watchful eyes because I know I'm protected. As much as danger I could be in, I guess, or whatever. I know I'm protected. I didn't need nobody to tell me I'm protected. Um, I just know. And you may say, well, how would you know? Because I'm still here. My story isn't over. Your story isn't over. I've overcame a lot of things that I'm proud of. And you overcame a lot of things that you should be proud of. Congratulate your haters. Congratulate the people that claim to be in, uh, enemies. Because if it wasn't for them, maybe you would not have worked harder. Maybe you would not have strategized in a certain ways. You need that fuel to light that fire, you know? And no, you don't have to be a poor, righteous teacher and not have nothing. I believe that you will get everything and more. Just don't let that be the main goal for you to get multiple houses and a bunch of cars and land and everything. Like, look, that's... To me, that's when you start thinking in the material, uh, material wise, you know, yeah, it's cool. You want to have a nice ride, couple rides, whatever. And yeah, be successful. But if you're not helping other people become just as successful or, you know, not so much or depending on, you know, their drive and their ambition, then what's your purpose? Are you a Scrooge? There's a lot of Scrooges out here and Mrs. Scrooges. You know, that's running all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is why everybody fighting for this and doing this. But that's for a whole nother story and video. Everything happened for a reason. I believe people already placed in front of you to try to stop you from a great desti destiny that you destined for to fulfill. But yet they do tell you that you could fail. So you got to pay attention to the signs. And if you ain't got haters and you ain't got doubters, then you must not be doing something right. Because when you're doing something good and you ruffling feathers in the, in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm, not in a bad way. Hopefully, right? Because remember, when you sign that contract to come back here, if you don't believe in soul contracts to come here, you will already assign enemies and haters and and toxic people. That's literally here to hinder you, stop you as po if possible, etc. Just as well as you have the unseen and seen assistance. From the guardians. Of the galaxy. What's understood don't have to be explained. So yeah for anybody that's going through. Hardship. 
And constantly, like I said before, you thinking like, wow, man, everything is always against me. Take time to do your self due diligence and see what you're doing wrong. And it doesn't mean that you like did something so wrong as far as in the sense of of um, just not being a good person or whatever. You know, sometimes you should greet an angry person with love and see the reaction. No, I'm not telling you to be a doormat either. Stand up for what you believe in. But it's a time for everything. And everything happens for reasons. And if you ain't got no haters, you need to get you some. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> no, let me take that back. Don't get no haters. You're already going to have them anyway. Because I know the real supporters on here is just like me. They're ambition. They, they're go-getters, you know, and they're not going to give up. Just as well as the haters, you know. Of course, they're, they're monitoring whatever type of agencies and whatever that may could be on here, boss and troll. Let them do their thing. But like I said, without haters, without doubters, a lot of people probably wouldn't be in certain positions of powers of where they at. They had to struggle and go through certain things, you know. And this is not for the people that was born with a silver spoon. Like, comment, and subscribe, share. Shout out to my underdog, Immortals. And if you want to um, support the channel, the link is in the description. Triple.